Hello and welcome back to 30 Minute Valheim with Cody. I am Cody. And I'm upstairs because I was trying on different outfits in fashion show for the end bits of the videos. I like to try to keep it in sync. It's not a necessity, but it's a nicety to just have uh, changing outfits as I go along. Then I need to kind of recalibrate what I'm up to. Remember what the heck it is I'm doing, who I am, and why I exist. <sighs> exist for Guck. Oh, I've been collecting a good amount of blood bags and whatnot from the swamps. That's powerful food. That's powerful food. I need a little less powerful food. I think I can make some freeze brains. Some, uh, oops, not fish. A bit of, uh, <laughs> what am I doing? A bit of sausage. And wolf thingies? Don't have any honey. Can easily get honey. I got onions. I got a whole bunch of onions there, but those are for planting. That's what I'm up to gardening. Alright. One moment. Let's think. Okay, honey. Just need to grab a little bit from right outside. Just want to make some. Of the wolfy skiers. Uh, wait a minute, wolf skewers. Oh, mushrooms, not <laughs> not honey. Alright. Oh, now that I'm thinking about it. Hmm. Okay, I guess I'm kind of okay on potions. If anything, I'm a little shorter on poison potions. Skip that for now. Ice cream. Ice cream. Ice cream. Ice cream. Four of every of a few things. Yeah, that's yummy. Yummy and my sorry. Oh. Uh huh. Put him back away. Uh huh. Put him back away. Uh huh. Uh huh. Put him back. Put him back. Put him back away. Hey, hey, hey. Put those little sausages away. All right, sausages are away. Got some onions to plant for seeds. So I got plenty of onions here, so I want to keep that seed stuff going. All right, let's just do it. Yeah, I'm running. Always wanting more charcoal. I'm just gonna leave you inside of yourself. And then I can just tear you up and what's inside of you. Okay. Plant these onions. Let's 
get some stamina going for that. Fifty. Give me so many seeds. Oh my god. I've been having conversations in my head again this whole time. I am so sorry. Mostly just thinking uh, kind of uh, about some improv things in the group set that I perform in this workshop with. And I was thinking, oh, I can go and just perform with them. And then I was like, why don't a lot of people perform with the people that they also, I guess, teach a workshop to or whatever. Seems like, you know, why not? I've always kind of wanted people that teach me to perform with me. And I get a chance to have that happen soon. We have a format that has a guest star, and uh, the guy who directs the improv group that I do that with will be performing with us as the guest star in an upcoming show. And that's going to be a great time for everyone in the audience, on the stage, you name it. From your grandmother to your great niece. From your baker to your wooden candle maker. Ah, uh, I don't want to go to Bone Mask. No, no, no. I want to go to the place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because that's where my garden is. And that's oh, what I am saying. Yeah. Get yourself to the plains. Get yourself to the plains. That's what I'm trying to say. Just get yourself to the plains. Get yourself to the plains. Get yourself to the plains. That's what I'm trying to say is just get yourself to the plains. Throop. I've, uh, yeah, made more progress on the hot tub, got the cover on it now, the water's not leaking because it's all sitting on top of the tarp that I put in. And now I can just sort of uh, wait a few days because I'm busy with work, and then on Friday probably or Saturday one or the other try to get that pump exchanged again with the one I've gotten new and the old wet end connect that old wet end to the new pump hope they're compatible and then uh, see if I can fire that up now otherwise if they're not compatible I gotta order a new wet end I could send the whole unit back, try to get warranty on it, exchange, yada, yada, but <sighs> that would cost me just pretty much as much in shipping as buying an entire new wet end would do. Um, at this point, I've already invested on the tarp now, but, you know, that's a that's going to be useful for other purposes. Very large, new, heavy-duty, 16 by 20 foot tarp. So many variety of things I can do with that in the future. Oh, the mind just boggles at the <laughs> opportunities. All right, come on, make your mind up. And uh, let's do some flax. 
all the way along this line. Long way, long way. So I don't have as much resetting to do. Yeah, I've been doing it kind of like along the shorter way, and it's like, okay, that just means I kind of have to reset my joystick and point a different direction a whole bunch. Where this is a straight line for about as far as I can go. Get in that flax in there nice and neat. Not too close, not too far away. Just just ref, just reflax, man. Just reflax. You're just way too uptight. Okay, I guess this is doing okay. Is, are, is Jody and the kids doing okay? Oh, have you seen Billy lately? I mean, last you told me you were trying to get through to him. Um, alright, I'm sorry, man. I'm not trying to meddle in your affairs. I'm just curious, you know? You tell me about all your problems and what, you just want me to just, like, not say anything? Yeah, alright. Good. I'm glad you see it that way. I was getting a little bit confused there for a moment. No, it's okay. No, man. Dude, you're overreacting. Just... <sighs> Alright, look. Remember when you told me that if I told Joanne that we should go uh, to the swimming hole with you guys? And she disagreed. And then all the kids were crying. <laughs> and I don't know. Who was the one who calmed everyone down? No, it is the same, man. <sighs> All right, I give up. I give up. What do you want me to do about it? Oh. Oh. Oh man, I never really, never really knew you saw it that way, man. I, oh. Oh. Oh, come on, Carl. 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 <sighs> Alright, well. Do you know they're gonna blame me for this? Okay. I mean... <laughs> Jesus, you're fucking kidding me. Yeah, it's nice working with you, too. I'm gonna miss you. All right, so we got the garden planted there. Flax, barley, a couple of them are gonna die. I'm gonna take this barley home. Put it in my windmill. Make a little bit of barley flour. Good grindy grindy. Boom. We uh, had a, just as many times in improv as what I like to do, we had an impromptu kind of game bust out. It's an escalation between someone essentially having a pizza payment plan. It's kind of worked in. There's a reference to another thing that grew to that to begin with. Um, and then at some point we have someone just kind of start describing just like the fundamental properties of pizza. Um, like as if it was a new idea no one had ever mentioned before. And then I tag in to just start talking about grass. And how we can grow this type of grass. It's like yellow and then we can harvest the parts of it. And essentially just talking about like wheat making like, and then we can grind it. What am I about to do in that windmill up there? Oh, anyway, we all had a good laugh. When the last person came in and said, well, there's this stuff called hydrogen, and then we just called it because we saw the escalation. Uh, it was done. We made it to hydrogen, one of the most fundamental properties of all that. Okay, we got a lot of 
coal. Uh, I mean, I guess I should say a little coal. Uh, let's do this tin while we're at it. We got room for two more in there? You sure do. Speaking of hot tubs, you got room for two more in there? Okali dokali, y'all. I think it's sleeping time. We got farming and ore mining and cooking all done in a day's work. Good night, Val Heine. Crank it up. Crank it up. Crank it up. Crank it up. Nighttime manufacturing. Alright, so that was a little bit of just harvesting and whatnot. Keeping everything just rolling at home. Oh yeah, I forgot to put a couple of coal in there. Just put the ore, but no coal. I'm just going to fill it up. And all out of ore. Processed what we got. Good job. Got a little bit of extra. Charcoal on the way. Yes, yes. The rest of it back. We got one ten pumping out of there in a little bit. Well, yeah, we got a one ten pumping out of there a little bit. You wanna get on down there and get on down there and down now? No, man, get the hay now with the dang, dang, dang. Oh, we got seeds here. Well, we got more onions than I know what to do. Okay, we also have a bit of fine wood. Interesting, that was something I was talking about needing. 20 fine wood, and it looks like I've got plenty. Okay, um, I think that that was what I needed to upgrade my shield. I guess maybe I didn't know I had that, or whatever. Tin's done. Uh, I think we need this, and deer, deer. Do we not have deer hide? Did I not? I thought I saw it somewhere. I'm gonna put it in the wrong chest. <laughs> uh, let's see. Otherwise, I'm gonna go get a couple of deer and plop them. Oh, there we go. Look at all this stuff. What's going on here? Clean up a little bit around here. Oh my god, so much deer meat. Overflowing with deer meat. I like all that venison where I'm from. Shut up, Peter. Peter's always trying to be so smart. Man, I need more linen string. All right, black metal shield. Here we go. Upgrading. Okay. So the shield is all the way. Sword needs an upgrade on my thingy dingy. And the Draugr Fang, a four deer hide, 20 silver, 10 bark, four guck. I can go up on the Draugr Fang. I mean, my gosh, we're getting a pretty upgraded thing. Uh, this is gonna be then going from planes to planes, trying to find four more totem. I need five to get your glyph, and I only got one. Hmm. What was it? What was it? What was it? Guck. Guck. Goose. Silver and ancient. Yeah. Chogger Fang. Ooh, 30 silver. <laughs> I need another deer hide, and then I can do, I think, the rest of the way. Let's take a look. Yes! Man! Deer hides, what a commodity. Didn't know that was going to be the hot not item. Ah! Barley flower! Run through the door. Eat a little bit. Let's see. 
There's one. Nice shot. Oh, there's another. Ah, nice shot again. Okay, that's the deer hut I came looking for. Let's get to it. No need to waste any time. Put a little more coal in the wood. Including the bucket itself. It's hardcore. Alright. Barley flour in the barley flour bucket. Got a lot of barley flour. That's good. That's good. I'm going to need that. Okay. We are completely full of deer meat. One more up on that Draugr Fang. I know I bet I'm gonna need some silver later to build something. You'll see. I don't have to be going back to the mountains. Yeah, you'll see. You'll all see. Oh, no, y'all see. Alright. And the 30 silver. Uh, trudge over to my forge. All right, boom, maxed out Draugrfong. Yeah, hey, that's great. Okay, put the little stuff back in the places. We're out the wood here and some deer hide number two. Grab a little bit of the bows from the here now. What the heck is my thing gonna do? Look for Yagluth. Look for lag little. Look for the lag little 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 little. Okay, so I'm gonna want a little bit more health food, I believe. Health food. Uh huh. 60, 75, 70. Oh, let's save that. Okay. And uh, yeah, let's wait. Let me go get superior arrows. <coughs> Excuse me. Flint, iron, fire. 42, 26. Man, the pierce is so low on these. Alright, I think I can make some more. Mosquito needle. Oh! No mosquito needles. Never mind. Um, what can I make? Iron, black metal, oh, obsidian. Ha! <laughs> ha! If and I had some wood. Oh, man. Yeah, right, I'm gonna take a little time, get some wood, <laughs> make some obsidian arrows. I got the elder on the ready anyway. Might as well get at this all right and good. Hey, raspberries. Just kind of hiding out in there. Alright. I don't really have anything else out here. Loose wood, trunk. I don't want to start cutting down the trunks. There we go, it's a little wood. Alright, so let's cut that way. Okay, double wood right here. Let's get some wood, man. Let's get five minutes worth of wood and run out the rest of this episode that way. Hell yeah. Sure, fall right on there. I don't care. Knock this structure down. It's not doing me any good. Free wood as far as I'm concerned. Bounce on it, bounce on it. Yeah. More trees, more trees.
Yes, lots of dense wood here, all falling against itself. Oh yeah. There we go. It's a wood explosion going on. Yeah, that was fun. Let's see, let's get another one over here. Let's just extend the circle. Circle of fun. Keep following me. See if you get hit by one of these trees. Uh oh, where's that one going? Hey, man. Alright. Let's go do the clean up. Clearing out the forest over here, y'all. Clearing it out. Just feel like hitting stumps sometimes. Not all the time. When I want to. No consistency. <laughs> Take that robot people. Huh. What you doing, dear? You got hit by that wood. I might need your hide later. I'm, I bet I do for something. I'm gonna need a lot of deer hide. Have to go deer hunting. Keep chopping. Logs keep dropping. Man, oh yeah. Just popping them. That felt good. Ah. Eighty-one, not bad. <sighs> A lot of logs. I'll have to come back and get some tomorrow. I mean, next episode. That's what I'll be doing. Oh, look at that! I got so many trees just now. Pretty good timing, too. I don't know, fell about 20? Something like that. I was able to chop most of them pretty much within the five minutes of the Elder. Okay, nice, nice music for that home. Back to the meadows. Music. Alright, a couple more. Might cause a chain reaction here, though. Yep. Sure did. Wow, quite a bit of one. Hey, hello. <laughs> All right. Great. Plenty of wood now. Got that taken care of. For now and then, you just gotta go work on that wood, you know? Get all that wood. Get all that wood now. Take it back to your base now. A tree fell on my house while I was out. Oh, my axe just broke. Yeah, hey, all right, keep rolling. <clears throat> Alright, axe broke. Heading home. <clears throat> 22 seconds left in the episode. Congestion in my throat. So sorry about that. Yep. Going back home after a hard day's work. That's five seconds left. That's it for me. See you next time.